Hi everyone, Miss here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do. Uh, I've had to open it to see where it was from. And this one is from my good friends at GBFKE. And they asked me uh, if I would like to have some products to show everybody on the channel. And I said, yes, of course. I've shown many products and they've all been really, really good. And I have been shopping with them for quite a while. So yeah, uh, full disclosure, they have been sent to me free of charge. Okay, so let's get into them and have a look and see what we've got. So we have, ooh, that's a big, heavy diamond painting. And we have, ooh. Oh, one that's already coming out of its bag. Look, it's uh, in a see-through one. Okay. And, oh, another one that's see-through. Oh, oh, that's strange. Oh, I think we've got twins. Okay. And uh, a little package. All right, that's strange. Okay. Oh, right. So, let's have a look at these then that we've got first. And then we'll have a look at those. Hmm. I wonder if one of the ones that I've chosen was out of stock, so they've sent me two of this one. But that's fine, it's a nice painting. So, I feel uh, a possible Happy Mail or a possible giveaway coming along with these. So, keep tuned and, uh, yeah, courtesy of GBFKE, I will be organising a little giveaway. Uh, I can't think what, what I can do at the moment for it. But yeah, watch this space and we will arrange something. Okay, oh, oh, nice colours. So we've got a uh, pen, boat and wax there. Excellent. Oh, look at those colours. Wow. And it's all in little grip seal bags, which is excellent. Like that. Oh, look at that. They are just so fresh and bright colours uh, she says as she's got shadows because I've had to put the light on because it's dark in my craft room today for some bizarre reason okay and it is yay look at the gnomes is that not just the most summer fun fantastic picture you've seen I just absolutely howled laughing when I saw it it's three little gnomes look one's got a lime one's got a lemon One's got a melon and their hats are melted ice lollies. And I just think that is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> uh, to be fair, the hot weather that we've had, if somebody had have given me a melted ice lolly to wear as a hat, I would have put it on my head and I wouldn't have cared what flavour it was. <laughs> I just think they're brilliant and the little details look even the hats this one's got a slice of lemon this one's got a sorry um, lime it's lime isn't it what am i thinking of a slice of lime a slice of lemon and a slice of melon i just think it's fab and it's actually do you think that might be a kiwi fruit with the little white in the middle because that's like a slice of lemon there i think that might be a kiwi fruit I'm going to go kiwi fruit with that one. So I would prefer lemon first. Kiwi fruits, I absolutely love. How do you eat a kiwi fruit? I uh, use a teaspoon. I take the top off and then I use a teaspoon and scrape the inside out and eat it, you know, like you would eat a boiled egg, <laughs> which people do find a bit bizarre. But I do like the skins and I can eat the skins. But I find that the fairy stuff on the outside make my, makes my mouth sore. So I can't eat a lot of them. But yeah, that's how I eat them. But I'd, yeah, I think that's going to be a kiwi fruit with the little centre bit there. But these are just, aren't they adorable? So it's Mindy's fault. Mindy's diamond moment. It's your fault. You are the gnome enabler. The amount of gnomes she shows on her channel. And then you go gnome hunting. And then you come across something like this and you think, just got to get it. It's got to be done. I have to have that canvas. So. <laughs> but I just think it's wonderful. They're on a tropical beach. And they've got ice lollies. It's the fact that they've still got sticks stuck in the ice lollies that got me. Yeah, it's a proper ice lolly hat. Oh, dear. But uh, yeah, I could definitely have done with one of those uh, at last weekend when it was just so so hot we were melting in fact i think millie although she hates wearing millie's our little scottish terrier 
uh, although she hates wearing anything from a collar to anything, I think she would have even put up with a nice lolly hat. But uh, yeah, she does like calippos as well. If I've got, she doesn't like the lemon ones. You know, you can get the two flavours in calippos, the orange and the lemon. If I've got an orange calippo, she will come and sit on my knee and stare at me face to face. They're like, give me lolly, give me lolly. And she waits until I get right down to the last bit as well to make sure that she's getting her share of the last bit. <laughs> the only lolly she does it with if we have fabs or zooms or anything else ice lolly wise she's not bothered but there must be something in the orange ones it's probably why i like eating them so much as well <laughs> anyway back to the diamond painting so this one is 22 colors we have got dmc codes and a key code on both sides that's your little thumbnail there but i think you can see what the picture is and then we have all lovely capital letters on the key code really really good and then that oh, I just love the colours I don't think there's any black in this at all there isn't it's all lovely very tropical summer colours and that key code is very very clear so, and it's a nice little 30 by 40 what have I done with my tape measure It is my tape measure from the lovely Chris oh, who also lives at the seaside. <laughs> and that is 25 centimetres, which is nine and three quarter inches by 35 centimetres, which is 13 and three quarter inches. So, yeah, it's a, a good size. It's a lovely soft canvas, this one as well really nice and it's got a sparkle in it the background is all sparkly i'll probably be cutting that off as well that's quite a shame but yeah it is very very sparkly oh even the blue's got a blue sparkle in it as well i wonder if the sparkle will show through when the drills are on with it being round it'll just give it a bit more sparkle oh we've got some coconuts there look i've not noticed those but yeah, and the letters are a really good size as well. I think they're going to come out well. But oh, just don't you love those? Have you ever seen anything like it? An ice lolly hat. Excellent. Brilliant. Love it. Right, let's have a look at these drills. Actually, do you know, I don't think I'm going to take them out because I think you can see them all. What have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So what am I missing? There's just a couple of maybe blues hidden there. But yeah, I think you can see those colours. We've even got a lovely hot pink look just for me. But that is just such a gorgeous, colourful palette of colours there. We've even got that really sort of limey green in the middle there. Well, it will be. Oh, no, it's not. We decided it's not a lime. It's kiwi fruit. It's kiwi fruit. List. So, yeah, I'm absolutely loving those. And, yeah, DMC codes on the bags as well and the canvas number. So that's great. Love that. Let me just double check that this one is exactly the same. I do believe it is. Uh, but we will just double check. And then, as I say, keep watching. Um, it won't be in this video because I'm going to have to sit and have a think because obviously I've got to consider postage as well for uh, everybody that lives outside of the UK because it is very expensive is postage but we'll, we'll see where we go I may be extravagant but uh, yeah so yeah it is an identical one it is our lovely gnomes so this one yeah I'm going to do it as a giveaway rather than doing it as a happy meal I will be doing this one as a giveaway so you'll have to keep watching the channel but it will be a subscriber giveaway so you will have to be subscribed to the channel which i think is only fair <laughs> uh, yeah so it will be a subscriber giveaway so yeah keep watching and subscribe to the channel it's this little button just down in this corner and it's a bell that pops up if you click on all notifications then uh, yeah so i'd love you to join us and uh, join in the fun and never miss a video okay so that is number one and number two and on the website at the moment the cost of those is uh oh it's in euros it's in f it's four 
euros 79 is it cents in euros i think it is and there is a free shipping on orders in the uk over 41 pounds and 63 pence that's what it translates to um but if you do check out for your country any special offers and everything that are on uh, you will get to see those and uh, yeah it's worth having a look and see what there is gbfke do tend to do special offers so it's always worth going and checking the little banner and if you subscribe to the emails then you tend to get the special offers through there as well and that's really really good i always like getting my special offers trouble is i'm always tempted and i'm like nope not buying anymore not getting anymore oh look at that special offer and oh free postage oh yeah <laughs> have a look at this little item here and it looks like a lipstick it's another one of these and you know i like my little quirky and different things and this one look at that how gorgeous is that all gold and with like a little coronet type crown on the top and it's like jeweled around the edges and then it opens and it looks like a lipstick wow keep it away from kids they'll be wearing it but it is wax for diamond painting. Yay! Um, to be fair, I think if they did put it on the lips, it wouldn't taste very nice. But it wouldn't do them. I don't think it would do them any harm. Don't let them do it. Don't try it. But yeah, it is just like your diamond painting wax. Um, and you just use your pen. Put a bit of wax on your pen. And there you go. And I think for the price of these, this one is uh, €1.79. Um, I should really have translated them, shouldn't I, into English, but uh, if you're in Europe, you'll be able to <laughs> see that. So, yeah, um, and for the price, I mean, they're a great present for anybody that diamond paints. For the girl who's got everything, for the diamond painter who's got everything, why not give them the luxury of a lipstick diamond painting wax? <laughs> But yeah, I just think they're really good fun. I mean, if you're diamond painting on the go, then that is something, as I say, like a lipstick that you can just stick in your bag. And it's fully covered and it's not going to dry out because it's got a really good lid with a really good uh, click on it. So, you know, it's going to keep it nice and secure. And then you can just use as much as you like. And that is a lot of wax. That is going to last you a long time. But I just thought, oh, look at the luxury of that one. I really like that. There's quite a few different ones as well on the website if you check them out. But I just liked this one best. I just thought, oh, we'll have some gold. Yes, and we've got a crown on this one. It does look a bit like a crown. And then, yeah, it does look like a crown. And then it's got all this pattern going up the sides. Actually, it's quite art deco with the shapes, with the points on it there. And then the points at the top. You can see, I think that is, yeah, very art deco, this one. And uh, yeah. So I think just uh, as a little added extra, if you're putting an order in, always go and check out the tools and the other little bits and pieces. And that's really good. So I'm really glad I got that one. I like that one. Okay. So let's have a look at this one. Oh, it didn't make the noise I thought it was going to. That's better. That was more of a thud. Right, where's my scissors? I'll need my scissors to get into this one. Okay. Let's see what we got. Just put the tape measure over there. And oh, not quite opened it. There it is. Got it, got it, got it. Oh. And oh, yes, it's oh. <laughs> I've just spent all that time opening that end. And that ends open anyway. <laughs> Typical me. Hey ho. Right, let's open this. Oh, look, we've got a pug. We have a little pug dog here. And then we have a little Westie. Oh, look. And we have a Jack Russell. And we have a little chocolate Labrador. And we have a little Spaniel, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. And, oh, what's that one? What's that one? I can't quite work out what that one is. That one might be another Labrador. Can't work out what that one is. And then we've just got a little bird sat there looking, a bird up there. So it's a lot of, wow, look at those. Oh, and this is a square. Hey, 
so it is a 90 by 30 square painting and yeah it's all these little puppies ah no that looks like a cocker spaniel there so that may be a little golden labrador possibly that's a chocolate labrador definitely i'll have to diamond paint these ones to see what they are Oh, and that shows me absolutely nothing. They've squashed that into a square. <laughs> but yeah, 90 by 30. And I thought this would look lovely above the door in my craft room. But yeah, look at the little Westie. I do love the Westie's expression there. And the little puggy's like, oh, don't let me fall off this bench. It's really high up. Don't let me fall. And then we've got a bird bath in the background. Look, with all the birds going around as well. But yeah, this one just called to me. I just had to have this one. It's a definite Westie and Scotty trick that uh, the West Highland White Terrier and the Scottish Terrier are very uh, distant relatives. And uh, yeah, they both have the head tilt when they look at you when you talk to them. Oh, look at those. This is gorgeous. And I thought if I'm going to get a big painting, um, then a long thin one will probably be better to do because you can do it in little slices and work your way up rather than thinking oh, I've got that massive painting to do as I say I did get it in squares uh, it has come in my least favourite packaging which is the little bags um, nothing wrong with the drills in the little bags it is just really that it takes longer to kit them up because you've got to open all the little bags separately <laughs> But yeah, that's fine. There is a lot of drills there. Wow. Okay, there's no inventory sheet or anything. So we are just working from the key code on this one. And we have 27 different colours. They are all symbols and capital letters. And then we do have DMC codes. I'm just looking here. There is a 310 in this one. And uh, yeah... The symbols aren't brilliantly clear. A couple of them I'm going to need to use my magnifying glass for. Um, I mean, you can read them, but as I say, for doing the diamond painting, I do need a little extra help with this. But that uh, drill field is nice and clear. And definitely the blacks there, the darker colours are definitely clear. So, yeah. And on the little chocolate Labrador there, look, you can see... I hope you're not getting too much glare there. You can see the uh, letters, nice pale letters on the dark background and dark letters on the light backgrounds. So this will be fun to do and I will enjoy doing it because as you're going along, if I'm going to go this way, then as you're going along, I'm going to see bits of the dogs um, coming to life as I go along. So it'll be really fun to do. And I just thought, oh, I fell in love with it and I thought, right, take the plunge, Liz get that diamond painting it just looks absolutely gorgeous i'll start at this end and work my way to this end so i'm doing the westy and the pug last because sorry everybody else they're my two favorites at this end although i do like spaniels and all oh, chocolate labradors and jack russells have such little good personalities and then the little spaniel squished here oh but i like all the birds around as well and the trees it's just such a peaceful painting it's gonna look really good when it's done oh can't wait to get started on this one as well I've got too many paintings to do <sighs> i just need to be able to do absolutely nothing but somebody bring me food and i can just sit and diamond paint all day and who needs sleep <laughs> okay right we've got a basic toolkit and um, with a bigger chunk of wax because obviously it's a bigger painting Okay, and then these drills, let's get into them and have a look and try not to destroy this bag so I can put them back in it, but I think it's going to be a lost cause, oh dear. Right. So, in its favour we've got, unless, well, oh no, some of them are red, um, but they've not got the black that easily rubs off and these look as though they are nice and clear. Uh, that's the other thing with some of these bags. Some of the numbers can rub off and then it just, well, it makes it harder to kit up. But they look nice and clear. So we've got a grey and a blue. 
in a small quantity. We have a purple there. And that's 154. Yeah, that's a standard colour on any dog painting, it seems to be. And yep, I've got these upside down. Let me put them the other way up. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to be turning them all around. And that one. Oh, now they've turned round again. Goodness me. That one is 402. So I'm going to need some big storage for this because there's a lot of colours the same. And some blues there. And I won't tell you all the numbers because we'll be here all day. And then, yeah, that's like a sagey and like a gingery colour. And another sagey green. Yeah, they all seem pretty clear, these numbers. I like the red. <clears throat> now, that's, that's not brilliant. That's where it's slipped a little bit. Uh, fortunately, it's not got on to the uh, perforated bit, but if it gets on the perforated, you can sometimes lose the number. But that's okay. We can see that one. So these are the easiest ones, I think, for the manufacturers to do. That's your 310. So what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's eight bags of 310. Okay, and there's 200 in a bag, so 1,600 310s. Yeah, you can see that okay. Yeah, what they do, I don't know if you've ever seen the uh, videos, you can see sometimes the kitting ups on um, YouTube and places, and uh, they have these sort of like in little boxes. The machines put them all into the 200s and seal them all and put the perforations in. So, and then they look at their sheets and they have these all like in boxes with like a roll coming out and they just literally count how many they want and put it in the bag and then go on to the next box of the next colour and uh, get them out. Fascinating to watch. I love watching things like that. So these are the easiest ones to do. Um, well, from what I understand, I would think putting them into baggies is uh, possibly harder. It depends on your machinery. But I think because I've got this one in a square and it has got the little 200 bags. Okay, oh, there's a lot of that colour as well. And then we've got the brown, chestnutty brown. Yeah, they seem to be gold and red, these numbers, and they all seem pretty good. Yeah, that one's right in the middle there as well. So when I get to do this one, I will do the kitting up video on it as well, so you can see how many of these drills we've got. Maybe use some of my new storage because it's got a lot of colours with a lot of storage going to be needed. 844. In fact, the 41 that takes that uh, massive amount of drills will probably be really, really good to do for this one because there is a lot of drills in some of the colours. Okay. Nice smoky colour there and another lemon. I'm trying to put some at this end because I seem to have a massive amount in the middle. <laughs> and then a blue and another brown. Okay, so I'm going to have to find another bag to put those in. I'll put an elastic band around them or something. <clears throat> and this one on the website is €14.79. Wow. That's amazing. That is absolutely brilliant. Okay. So, oh, we got our beautiful puppies all across the bench. And then we got our fantastic ice lolly gnomes. Oh, in fact, I could do with one of those ice lollies on my head at the moment. And then our lovely lipstick. Little wax. Okay. For the diamond painter that's got everything. <laughs> <laughs> Those colours are brilliant. And I did get my extra. This extra one, uh, I will be doing a subscriber giveaway. So make sure you do subscribe to the channel. And in the next couple of videos, I'll try and work something out. And then I will, in fact, I may even do a separate little video to give you the details of the giveaway. So watch this space. Keep an eye out for your videos. So a huge thank you to GBFKE for sending me these to show you. And... Yeah, for sending me two of the same ones. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, thumbs up. It's always much appreciated. And if you've got any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and be a subscriber so you can join in for the subscriber giveaway, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. 
So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.